They are wrong purpose. Everyone, they just want to, you know, to for. They thought in their mind they will win, and they uh, the seller they prepared uh, things to sell, uh, to celebrate, to sell after they win, and uh, 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 the fans they already buy food or buy wines. Or some people that bet a lot, gambles in the the match, but the results was not like they expected. They lose, they lost their thing, they lost their money, and then uh, because of that they got angry. Then soccer is not become a game or physical game enjoyment anymore. It's at the beginning. It was a bet. It was a bet, a gamble. It was what a bribe. It was a business. That's why their wrong purpose is caused to the disaster. It's not the force of the police, as some people say, but it's the purpose of the game. Students, today I will show you five steps. To go to success, that you will not fall into the same steps, the same error that tra- the tragedy had happened. Okay, before we start, let's pray. Gracious and mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this morning again. I pray, dear Father, that you will help on the students and even thy servant, the staffs. To understand the message and to apply it to our lives, that we will not fall into the tragedy, but we will win the victory to become successful in our lives. Keep into our hearts. Help us to keep into our hearts the message this morning. Guide thy servant to share your word in love and in power. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Step number one is set your heart. Set your heart, not follow your heart. You control your heart. You set your heart. That's step number one. Psalm thirty-seven verse four. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. We are not following what we want. We are not following what we desire, okay? We follow what the Lord desire. We delight ourselves in God's will. Then God will give you the desires of your heart. It's different, okay? If you follow money, money will run away from you. If you follow God, God will give you money. The same with that. If you follow your will, your heart. Your heart will fail you. Will go away. But if you follow God's will, the desire of your heart will be given unto you. That's what the Bible says. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He shall give the desire of the heart. Apostle Paul said, First Corinthians chapter nine verse twenty-six. Therefore, I run not as uncertainly; so fight I not as one that beateth the air. First of all, is you have to set the goal. Paul is fighting not to nowhere. You cannot enter into the taxi and you tell taxi, okay, you go wherever you go, you go. You cannot say that. The taxi will not know go anywhere. Okay, crazy man, get down off my car, right? When you enter into the taxi, you should know where you're going already before even before you enter. Paul, in his ministry, he has a specific calling, specific job to do. Students, you have a job to do. Focus. Set your heart on that one. Set your heart on studying. Do not follow your heart, but set your heart. Set your heart. Tell your heart to follow what you want. Do you know the song "Do Right"? From the very start, have purpose in your heart to do what's right and never question why. See that? 
from even very start beginning of school year as I thought you already have a purpose in your heart I have to finish the race I have to finish this simulator I have to graduate right you have that purpose already set it point number two too tall the cost too tall the loss means you count what you lost what you will lose. What does it mean? You cannot successful in studying at the same time you are successful in gambling. Okay, I do not know what's game, so I cannot example for you. I saw some kids are playing uh, Free Fire, always cell phone, what's that? Game fighting, choo 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 choo. I do not know what's that. But I saw always use a phone, phone. And I saw advertising. What's that? Uh, Lingwung and then Vikings and the, those things that you got uh, 30 millions, billions in the games. You cannot win the battle of studying academic achievement at the same time you win the game ball achievement. Achievement. You cannot. You count those things for loss. You have to know that when you study well, focus on study, you have to sacrifice your much of your free time, sacrifice your uh, sleepiness, sleepless, sacrifice your enjoyments, uh, playing games, uh, uh, what's that, video games, sacrifice uh, Facebook. You have to count those things from the beginning already. Okay, count that one. Look at this. Luke chapter 14, Jesus said, For which of you intended to build a tower and sit it not down first to count the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? Okay, count it. Christians, if you decided to follow Jesus, you already have to count that you will lose your friend, unbeliever friends. You will lose your friends that always uh, ask you to go out and play and drinking and gamble. You will lose those friends. When you decided to follow Jesus, you know it already. You count this as a cost to follow Christ. So there is a cost to achieve excellent academic performance you have to count it okay sacrifice tiktok youtube facebook step number three endeavor to achieve the goal after you set your heart after you count the loss to remove all those things now endeavor <coughs> try my best Endeavor, try my best, attempt to try your best to achieve the goal. Philippians 3, 13. Paul said, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are before. Do not think that Last year, I finished my grade in grade 7 or grade, grade 8. I am perfect. I am so good. That was the past. Your excellency in the past does not guarantee you the future. Your excellency performance in the past, your best training in the past, your best achievement in the past does not guarantee you the future. Forgetting those things. Forgetting those things. Reaching for those things which are before you. Breast toward the mark. Breast. Endeavor. Breast toward the mark. For the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Students, we are not studying for our, you know, our fleshly enjoyment. Study is not for our fleshly enjoyment. Study is for God's glory. 
Study is for God's glory. Number four, push. There will be very a lot of a lot of discouragements, a lot of disappointments, distress. Okay. A lot of deadly deeds that Satan is trying to input to us. Doubt. Can I do it? Could I do it? Will I do it? A lot of things. Even we in devil, we try and ready. Right? Even we try our best and ready. What are we going to do now? Keep on push forward. Close your eyes. Press. Use all your might. Push forward to the finish line. Push forward, Romans eight eighteen. For I record that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to compare with the glory which shall revealed in us. Study is hard. Serving the Lord is hard. Is considered as suffering. But if you compare with the glory that God shall give you. It's very worth, okay. We are not like the world. The world they are doing their best to achieve mainly uh, applause. They 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 do their best to achieve the corruptible crown, corruptible medal. They said gold medal, but actually not one hundred percent of gold. It just Plated with gold, it's not 100% gold. They are just follow the. They 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 do their best to achieve the corruptible, even the fake things. But we, you are studying stuff. We are serving. We are teaching. It's all for God's glory. Your job is to study. How can you? Give thanks to God if you do not know how big is the universe. How can you give thanks to God if you do not know how wonderful the trees do uh, during the photosynthesis? How can you give thanks to God if you do not know how the food is digesting in your tummy? How? We cannot give thanks to God if we do not know. Therefore, you have to study. Okay. I teaching science. We study. We can see the hands of God. That's why we thanks God. God purpose for us, student, to study. You will receive crown, the glory. Okay. And then, First Corinthians nine twenty two. To the weak I became as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am make all things to all men, that I might, by all means, save some. That is the calling of Apostle Paul, preaching the gospel to the Gentile, to the barbarians, to the nobles, to the foolish people, to the weak, to the strong people. That's why he have to immerse himself into the societies. By all means, he win them. But what we can learn, students. Difficulties. Immerse yourself into difficulties. Very sleepy when you read the Bible. Very sleepy when you study. <gasps> Wake up. Many people choose to what? Drink coffee. <laughs> Drink some water. Wake up. Endure. Number five, and the last. At the end, at the end of the day, at the end of the journey, we will settle all the goal with grace. We settle down all the goal with grace. What you started begin of the day, you set your goal. At the end of the day, you settle down all of that. Second Timothy four to seven. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Students, fought, fight a good fight. So at the end of the school year, 
you settle down everything. You can proudly say to yourself, by God's grace, I have finished my course. I have finished this year. All the glory belongs to God. God will surely happy and give you your reward. So for us to success, what should we do? Number one, set your heart. Set your goal. Set your heart in the beginning. Number two, to toll the cost. I know that I will study hard. I will sacrifice my free time in game, in Facebook, in TikTok. I will sacrifice those things. I know it. I set though. I count it already. Remove it. Number three, endeavor to move on. Endeavor. Push forward. Try to do it. Try to do it. And if you, 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 what you discourage, you doubt. Come on. Number four, push. Push forward. Press toward the mark. Push or press. Press toward it. Push toward it. At the end, we set to down our goal. We set to down everything by God's grace. We can finish our course with good performance. I hope you learned something today and remember it to have a good success every day. Every day, set your goal, count the cost, endeavor, move on, push on. At the end of the day, settle your goal. Thank you. And God, may God bless you. Buster Frank.